Hi everybody, this is Dominic again. So we continue with our review of the LEGO Architecture Studio Box. So what we have here is the book that comes with the box. Um, I've been flicking through it a few times and um, I must say I like it. It's uh, 270 pages, a bit more. Lots of pictures, lots of colors. And what I noticed is uh, it's actually divided in a few chapters in which they talk about several things uh, going on in um, architecture. So the thing is I never done architecture school or anything um, like that. Um, what I noticed is like this is definitely something for, well definitely for 16 year old people and over so for more for adults. Who like to be busy with their hands who like to to look at nice things who like to create nice things who are like artistic then this is your thing so <clears throat> let's open the book so create your own architecture so what we see here is like there's first an introduction and then they say the architects so what we see here is, for example, Rex Architecture, Su Fujimoto Architects, SOM, MAD Architects, Tam and Videgard Architecture, Savdi Architects, and then, so these are uh, architect, architect uh, companies, <coughs> and they talk about um, like certain things, um, how to build like a building, for example. Um, like Rex Architecture is talking about getting inspired, then Su Fujimoto is talking about researching and sketching, they are talking about defining your project, making space, working in a context, and model making and three-dimensional representation in architectural practice. So in every chapter we see like they have a hands-on exploration and they have a workshop. So it's a very colorful book, um, like big letters, small letters, lots of uh, pictures, sketches. So this is a bit of a history of, um, of construction sets from, well, from the past. And then So this is the introduction. So what they want to <coughs> show you is with the bricks you can um, sketch something. Um, yeah, like you, uh, yeah, like with Lego you can build whatever you want. So for example, this is the first chapter abstraction, then the hands-on exploration. So for example, if you are inspired by this blue bird then this is the first rough step and then you start to adding in more details and then you can have like for example like a building that looks like this which could be like in real life maybe on an industrial site so for example this is the new chapter then Rex Architects is talking about getting inspired so they talk about who is REX or, or the uh, REX uh, company. You see the pictures. Well, I'm not going this slow through the whole book, of course, because it's 700, I uh, know, uh, 270 pages long. Um, But you see they're all talking about these special looking uh, buildings and then you can actually like rebuild them in Lego. Now it's not just about rebuilding these uh, <coughs> these buildings but it's also like the architects actually can use the Lego blocks to design um, buildings 
different structures and see how they would fit in in, in the rest of the in, in the rest of the city so for example you see this building and then Lego blocks it would be like this so this is the hands-on exploration so this for example is about scale like you can see you can make it like this so a person would go through this door or this is the same this is the same as this but this is then on another scale because then these few bricks they represent the house then so your uh, your well your your person and the trees are like the size is smaller so one time although it's the same amount of lego bricks bricks this one um represents a higher building than this one so then this is the next chapter uh, next chapter Su Fujimoto Architects researching and sketching so it goes further like this all through the book now what I also said in my first video is like they um, you find 1210 bricks white bricks and transparent bricks in the box uh, it's more like a creative process like uh, they want you to be artistic create something but you cannot build um, the you cannot build the buildings that they are shown here so it there's no um, instruction manual or or something like that like um, like for example if you want to build this one you will find a few bricks for example to to make this compartment like just to the shape this round shape make it wider or like where it's where it's turning if you actually want to do the whole building then you will have to order extra bricks so this is what they show so the shape of this building you can rebuild with Lego stack them on each other give them a twist and you get the same but I'm sure all those bricks that you cannot find them in the box you will have to order them online but the thing is like here they show you how you can rebuild that or create that kind of effect and then it's your decision how far you want to to go with it so, so this is also nice the slope So it's amazing what you can do with Lego bricks. You can literally make anything you want. Not just buildings, but uh, sports, stadiums, everything. So I haven't read the book. I was just flicking through it to, to give you an idea. Um, I must say I'm intrigued by it. Uh, I will read through it. Uh, I think it will help also. It will help me also with building my my big soup yacht I'm currently building. Uh, especially like the last few pages of the book, then they they talk about building techniques with Lego. So locking, sideways building, size scaling, uh, putting in some details, and then bricks with alternative uses. And building in sections especially if you build something bigger this might work um, and then notes and sketches if you want to to write something down so this is the book definitely a plus because like I said it's it's like a, it's the equivalent of a Lego or a Duplo box for children but this one is actually the diversion for adults so um, well, I'm looking forward to, to start uh, creating stuff.